Hey, it's me, Jesse Lee, with Hot Topic, and we're here sweating out with Simple Plan. What's, What's going up, on, guys? Man? I love your dungeon here. Yeah, it's, good. it's a vibe, you know? We have, yeah. keep it dark and dreary. It's on, you know? it's on brand. Fit very emo, yes. you know? Oh, Got to turn the heat up, make everyone feel real sad and hot. That's what we're going for. Hell yeah. So thanks for stopping by. I know you guys have a busy weekend so far. Has there been any uh, highlights? I'm think of one really big one. But Today, today's show was insane. Yeah. Like it was just so good. It was the crowd was really big from either side. Even like in front of our stage, obviously the reaction was great. Yeah. But from you know the sides as well, it was just very big. People celebrating, you know, the songs that they love. Right. And it was just awesome. Yeah. And we were pretty good too. I, I think we did pretty good, Jeff. Good yeah. work. I mean, the, the I whole concur. weekend, yeah. seeing all these bands that we love, being a part of this community, being a part of this scene, yeah. being a part of, of this festival and that brings people from all over the world together. Like, it's crazy. You walk around and you ha you ask people, like, where did you come from? And they're like, oh, I flew in from South America. I flew in from, you know, New York. I flew in from Europe. It's like, it's so amazing. Yeah. And uh, we're just really grateful to be a part of that scene that really has defined who we are as a band has influenced us and we're lucky that we're a part of it yeah that somehow i think we might have influenced a few bands as well so I it's pretty so. cool yeah it seems like you guys uh like assembled the pop punk avengers this weekend on stage multiple times that's pretty cool well, we had a it. lot of friends with us obviously state champs we the kings yeah it's always cool to see those guys we have a lot of friends we're looking yeah, forward we to jenna seeing. from tonight yeah. alive we had uh Cassidy Pope that joined us. The we Paradox. had 303, the Paradox of Young, a brand new young band. The They've been Paradox. around for There's five, six months or whatever. Yeah, and they're, they're like so they're everywhere. Cool. And it's so yeah. cool that we're friends with them. And, and we just love supporting all these different artists and you know and, and also trying to bring diversity to this yeah. scene as well because for a long time it, it has not been that great. Mm. So we see ourselves as a band that has to to help with that and right. use our platform to bring out more girls more people of color and like you know tr change this thing for a more positive uh yeah. way and i think that uh we're proud to be a part of that as well it's a beautiful thing man i love that yeah other big news though from this weekend you guys announced you're releasing a documentary about the band yeah man dude it's been so i mean it's been 25 years you know yeah. uh since we've been doing this you know and uh the last year was uh, a great opportunity like there's a a lot of great things happen, you know, like we played some crazy shows right. all around the world and we had a videographer with us, you know, following us through it all. So it's sort of, um, I think he would be a, a little offended that you call him a videographer. It's a director, <laughs> video, but you know, it's okay. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But that being said, um, it's cool to see someone else kind of telling her story yeah. and, and kind of expressing to, so, so basically there's some nostalgia, obviously we're yeah. throwing back to, you know, to things from our archives and everything, right. but it's also a lot about like what's going on now with the band, you know, and yeah. it's very positive. It's very, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of great things that are happening. Happening, so what an honor what yeah. a great thing you know I think it's gonna be the most ambitious and most special project we've done as a band in our whole career it's coming out on, on prime video next year we still haven't seen it so I really hope it's, oh, wow. it's gonna exciting. be awesome but I mean like Jeff said they follow us for a whole year Man. Uh, we give them unprecedented access to the band like backstage and you know in hotel rooms on buses in our homes like we really I think we also gave ourselves a chance to be more you know, like Lars Ulrich will say, more more vulnerable. Yeah. Like we literally like talked about things that we were maybe not that comfortable with. Yeah. You know, and we got outside of that comfort zone, and we were and able to. I think in the past we were a bit up. guarded. You yeah. know, like if anything, you know, and we're control freaks. So I think you know that in the past, and and social media kind of does that too. Does, you show yeah. your best side, and you never yeah. show your vulnerability, right? Right. So having someone who basically gained her confidence, you know, throughout yeah. the year basically allowed us to open up and just show the yeah. real deal you know i mean they you had to get comfortable with them at some point right because they were with you for so long yeah, we like, had the enemy with us yeah yeah right <laughs> there you go the snake in the grass or whatever that's right <laughs> well that's awesome when does it come out again we don't know yet oh, uh, it's gonna be next date? year 2025 yeah. we don't have a cool. an official date yet but it's definitely coming out you know at some point next year we're still like there was still filming this weekend yeah. this was kind of like the pinnacle uh, of the gotcha. of the year like gotcha. our, one of our last show of the year a special moment so it's part of the story that nice. we're telling. I just felt that this you know this event is sort of like the best event to announce it because it's basically throwing back you know mm -hmm. to all that scene and, and yeah. it's just that's the thing you know that's oh, yeah. the, the the place Sort of, uh, and, and the nine months of touring that we've been doing yeah. are leading to this. That's yeah, a big moment yeah. in our year. Did you guys uh, pick a title yet for it? 
No. No. All right. It's gonna have to be a sexual pun. I of believe. course, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of sexual puns, uh, are you guys <laughs> playing this album in full this weekend? Did you play it in full? Or we went a little rogue. Yeah. We cheated. No. Yeah. We, uh, the whole rogue. thing we wanted to do was to celebrate. Yeah. The album and obviously these songs. See, I told you, no one would complain. <laughs> yeah, well, people it, are stoked. We just felt like playing it back to back on, yeah. in a context like this on such a huge stage with thousands of people, you know, watching. It's it's not always the we're not big fans of playing it's albums the right back context. to back. Yeah. yeah, so we felt like, hey, let's play some stuff. Let's play like a medley of all these songs. We obviously, I think we played four, five or six full songs, and then okay. we did like little snippets of all the other ones. Nice. And it came out awesome. People loved it. And then we were able to play all the other songs that people love right. from the band. So we went a little rogue, and I think yeah, it was the right move. I think people definitely enjoyed it. That's for sure. Thank you. This is an awesome album, man. Was this a real party? Did you guys actually get crazy like this? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you a really good story. Yeah, please. So we meet all these beautiful people, right? Yeah. And then they're inviting us to a party. Mm -hmm. And we went to the party. We never found the address. They gave us a bad address. A bad address? Dude, I'm telling you. So They didn't want to hang out with you, They Jeff. just didn't want to hang out with oh, me. Oh, what a bummer. I, I have a so I had no game. Yeah, it was, uh, it was shot in New York. And uh, we, we we had the concept of like yeah. crashing the the wedding, and then we were doing these uh, these. If, if you open up inside, there's like us in a in a bathtub, right? And like we're doing the. Oh yeah. And um and then it was the funniest thing. Well, not the funniest thing. It was kind of freaky, but <laughs> uh, so we're here, and then there's a light that's lighting up the uh, the photo shoot. Yeah. Fell down in the bathtub, <laughs> and we got all like crazy, like. Electrocuted, electrocuted but me Jesus. but me Except because I was outside because yeah, yeah. you were the only one You're not safe. there yeah. but everybody just freaked out the photographer like the label they're like their first album's not even out yet and they almost died <laughs> and, and I'm uh, like you guys missed him my life insurance I was yeah. ready and then and then oh, yeah. this is the photo after yeah. that we shot as you can see not as uh, fun and big yeah. party. It was a little bit After more you're like, almost being electrocuted and having charge of glass in your feet. Yeah, really? we look a little bit, little bit more bummed out. So anyway, yeah. that's the story of that photo was this, shoot. It was, was pretty cool. It was also when you found out that there was no address, that the, uh, the party didn't exactly. exist. Exactly. Yeah. It's very emo. Oh, we were man. so Such sad. A bummer. Uh, I bet they're regretting it. I bet they're regretting it now. All right, so after we, uh, we're done nostalgia dumping and having such a great time this weekend, what's next for Simple Plan? I know we've got the documentary, of course, but what's the next plan? We're gonna be taking a bit of time off, you know. Okay. Uh, start thinking about new music. Very cool. Yeah, new music. Boring. Yeah, I think we definitely want to have uh, some stuff out next year. So okay. that's the uh, the next step. And then it's a lot of touring's coming up. We already announced some an amazing uh, big lineup of dates with the Offspring next year. We Very got Japan cool. and yeah. and all over Europe with them. So that's gonna be really fun. And we're also working on some headline, you know, tours. So it's gonna be uh, cool. it's gonna be a big year again. Big year. Never stops, right? Never Try stops. Try our, our best to just yeah. keep going. I got two more questions for you. The first one's going to sound kind of random, but I need you to rate this song on a scale from 1 to 10 for me. All right. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, of course. Dude, that's 12. Yeah. yeah that's pretty epic. That's like no logo such room. a good track. I mean, it's just like breaking all the rules, and mm -hmm. but unforgettable, right? Yeah, and nice. and it's very ambitious, yeah, which yeah. I love, you know? Yeah. It, it makes me think of... My Chemical Romance, kind of like, like you know, with their Black yeah. Parade, trying to push the boundaries and mm -hmm. doing something great. 100%. I mean, it's a heavy comparison, but I think I think you wouldn't be alone in thinking that. A lot of people, for a lot of people, people I think yeah. they're, they're definitely influenced by for, yeah. by that era of yeah. like concept yeah. albums and everything. Yeah, but a lot of people do consider MCR kind of like the queen of our the emo sure, generation yeah. for sure. Very talented band. So that was uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was Gabe Sporta from uh, Cobra Starship's answer to this next question I have for you guys, okay. which is, what is the greatest song of all time? Oof. It's, wow. It has to be a Beatles song, no? For me, I think it would be. I mean, like these, I don't know, it's hard to pick one, but I would say... Uh... uh a Day it's in tough, a Life. That's a good track. I think for me it would be Hey Jude. Nice. Maybe. Good one. Good one. I think Yesterday. Like, I'd yesterday, yesterday. Hey Jude. Um, do we yeah. have to pick one though? What do we do? You guys can split it up. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We're going with the Beatles. I'll go with Yesterday. With that, yesterday and Hey the two Jude. Two different sides. Hey Jude, yeah. Yeah, well, you guys are united on the Beatles at least on that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. guys, thanks so much for hanging out, Chad. Thanks for having us. Everyone Thank go you. stream the crap out of Simple Plan. Look forward to that documentary.